Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. We have another unboxing. Uh, this is a panel for obviously for T6, it's quite a long panel and it's thin. So let's get this open and have a look. for TC from centralpanels.co.uk I don't know if that's a new old stock um, but it looks oh there's a sticker at that end oops Originally, Melbro Auto Panels replacement part, so it's not a genuine um, Ford product, but it will do the job because TC is pretty knackered. Um, so, yeah, quite pleased at that. The only thing I have noticed is it doesn't have the scallop for the exhaust pipe. Top that shan't really be a problem. We have another package. Um, this one came through yesterday um, when I was um, working on the um, the mower. So let's see if we can get this thing open. get away with using your hands on this one. I always wonder where you get the evil bay sellotape from. No idea. That's really well packaged. I can't buy that. Come on. See, I could save myself a lot of hassle if I had uh, some scissors or something, didn't I? Yeah. But where's the fun in that? This is going to defeat me. <laughs> I think it might. Right. Okay, yep. Yeah. 
yeah, I couldn't quite stab it out the scissors. Uh, very, very, very well wrapped. Very, very well. Right. I could use, reuse this packaging. It's lining. Very, very good. Okay. I'm not too sure if I'm going to need another one of these. What is the best bit to cut? Yes, it is. Awesome sauce. I can go in the folder. Right, so let's cut the last bit. Wow, that is nice and shiny and new. Okay, so this is the inner rear quarter for the Cortina. Uh, on the passenger side, um, but these are extended for this for the estate model. Now, um, it's a piece that comes out the end here. You see that? Yes, you can. So it comes out the end there, and it's just extended. It's just a plate welded onto it. Uh, but I've looked at pictures of one which I've been shown that was welded into the Mark III. But this is for a Mark IV slash Mark V. Um, the floor pan is basically the same. There are some slight modifications between all three versions, but on the whole, most things fit. And, as I've always said it before, when you saw the previous videos, it's only metal. It can be modified, you can add, you can take away. Um, and vice versa, take away, add. Um, so we now have the that inner quarter. We also have the inner sill, as you may have seen in the previous video, um, we have the the valance. Um, so that's the outer valance. So going from there all the way across. Um, so now, well, what I now need to do, I may need another one of these. I'm not sure. Um, I do need the panel that goes above the balance on the tail end of the estate model and hopefully try and find the one with the catch plate where the lock mechanism goes because that needs to be replaced as well so it's quite a big job um, and I also need to try and repair the, um, the section underneath of the uh, rear chassis rail on the same side as this because uh, it is quite gone and I also need to fabricate a section plate which um, I've seen Dean do uh, some pictures of that but yeah it's quite a lot of work to do so to go yet yeah, for the back end of the car um, though whereas there's a no danger of anything falling off um, it's okay at the moment but it does need to be all cut out and replaced so anyway Thank you for watching this uh, little update on the panels. Um, I'll keep you posted, of course. And uh, yeah, that'll be it for this little video. Thanks for watching.